In July 2017, the European Council concluded an action plan to tackle non-performing loans in Europe in order to prevent the emergence and accumulation of new non-performing exposures on banks' balance sheets. In this context, in March 2017, the ECB published final guidance to banks on NPLs with the aim of developing a consistent supervisory approach regarding the identification, measurement, management, and write-off of NPL. Further, in March 2018, the ECB published the final addendum to the ECB guidance to banks on NPLs. In October 2018, the EBA published the final guidelines on management of NPEs and forbearance. And in 2018, the European Parliament and the Council published the Regulation 2019-630, amending the CRR as regards to minimum loss coverage for NPEs. In particular, the ECB guidance on NPLs and the EBE final guidelines on NPEs and forbearance cover, among other aspects, the NPL strategy, the governance and the operations framework, and the forbearance measures. Moreover, the addendum to the ECB guidance on NPLs sets out definitions to be considered, such as new NPEs or the eligible credit protection to secure exposures, and distinguishes between NPE both before and after the 1st of April 2018. Further, it also introduces prudential backstop requirements, where the establishment of minimum level of provision stands out. Finally, the Regulation 2019-630, amending the CRR as regards minimum loss coverage for NPE, introduces aspects regarding the definition of NPE and forbearance measures, and establishes a minimum coverage requirement for NPEs, and a deduction of CET1 coverage shortfall, if it is relevant.